Hey there guys, this is Sam and Justin at the Survival Review and uh, today we're going to be talking about Guardians of the Galaxy which Justin previously talked about mm -hmm. uh, but um, we're going to do a spoiler video this time as we usually do. Mm -hmm. uh, before we start that, as usual, I'll give my opinions on a movie. Uh, it was friggin awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. It was as good as I was expecting. Um, just fantastic, fun movie, you know? Um, it, it, what I love is just that it doesn't take itself seriously at all, and that's what everybody loved about it. And I guess the things that I want to say I like about it are spoilers, so let's <laughs> get into that. Well, out of ten, what would you give it? Out of ten, I'd give it a 9.5. Um, right. there, there were a couple things that he and I talked about that did make me realize there were some flaws <laughs> in the movie, Sadly. but not enough for me to say that I didn't think it was amazing. Mm -hmm. So, 9.5, I'd say. Alright. Well, then now we're just going to delve into all the spoilers and yeah. all that good stuff. The post credit scene. Um, it's definitely <laughs> interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. there, there are technically two post credit scenes. Yeah. Like, there's one with yeah, Groot they, dancing yeah. as a little... It's like the same thing. thing they did with uh, Thor 2 and uh, Captain America 2. I had them like two scenes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the post credit scene... Except, in this case, both scenes were done for laughs and weren't serious. Yeah, neither of them were serious. <laughs> uh, the first one being Groot growing back as a little yeah. plant and dancing. Uh, and the second one being <laughs> the weirdest... <laughs> most unexpected thing ever. Yeah. Howard the Duck <laughs> comes into play. Um, it's hilarious. It, it's pretty funny. Um, basically it's uh, the collector um, character mm -hmm. is kinda gathering up his things after the big explosion earlier on in the movie and uh, he, he's got all his little creatures that he's collected and Howard the Duck yeah. out of nowhere pops up and makes some sarcastic comment to <laughs> yeah. him. I don't remember what it was, was because I was so blown away was, that they... It was about the, the dog the dog who was there. And the oh, dog, that right. dog is also a character from the comics that talks, but the dog didn't talk in the scene. That dog is actually a character from the comics. Okay, so. I didn't know that. I heard I remember that was one of the rumors that uh, was that Nathan Fillion was going to be voicing that character, but oh, that obviously that didn't happen because that character didn't talk. That would be pretty but crazy. The Nate, fact the fact that Howard the Duck is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Is I, I don't only, even know what to say about it. Only anymore. only Guardians of the Galaxy could get away with that. Exactly. <laughs> That's the only movie they can get away with showing that. It, it was and really, not get like ridiculed for it. Yeah. Because it it's just it's just a fun nod. It's not going to be a Howard the Duck movie. No. It was just... <laughs> I certainly hope not. Just showing that that character is there, and it's just it's awesome. <laughs> so everybody was expecting an Avengers 2 teaser. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that was fine. I was fine yeah. with it. Yeah. <laughs> Since it was something that was that funny and crazy, I was like, yeah, fine with that. It would been cool to have an Avengers teaser, but I live. Because yeah. Howard the Duck was hilarious. So, I completely agree. Um, something I want to talk about that I'm sure you talked about in your review, I, I haven't watched it, but uh, is the, the villain. Mm -hmm. uh, he was really bland, mm -hmm. and that was one of the major flaws with the movie. Yeah, and like his motivation for kind of just like, you know, like he just wanted the, the stone thing just to take over galaxy, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, but um, his death, another thing, was also pretty... Yeah. Underwhelming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it, it was just... just like, it, the one scene without when, like, everybody is, like, hold, all the like, guardians are holding hands yeah. and all the elements and everything is, like, swirling around. He just, like, he just, like disintegrate him or something like that. That was just, like... Okay. <laughs> okay well, he was, it like, wasn't bad, necessarily, but it, it was it, just... It would have been more interesting if they'd done something else to it. Yeah. But uh, that, that was something interesting that uh, brought up the idea that uh, Star-Lord isn't just a human, because mm -hmm. anyone would have just died if yeah. they held uh, the Infinity Stone. Yeah. So that's something that I'm but, guessing they'll probably be... Yeah. The, the, 
bringing up a lot more in Guardians. Yeah, that was also one thing I felt like it was kind of weird. I just kind of just like threw that in there at the end. It's kind of like, oh, oh, okay. Oh. I don't know. And it didn't play and also, as... his father. Yeah, it didn't, yeah. I don't know why. It didn't feel like a surprising review. It just kind of felt thrown in a bit. It, it did. So it didn't really have much impact. It's kind of like, oh, okay. It, it really didn't add that? anything. Both him not being just a human and mm -hmm. also them bringing up uh, they were supposed to bring him to his father when they yeah. abducted him. Um, when, that, when that part happened, I was like, wait, what? Oh, oh, what? okay. Oh, oh, okay, it's something they're building for the sequel, I guess. That's interesting, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, they'll definitely be doing something with that in the yeah. sequel. Yeah. Um, but aside from that, that's, that's the bulk of the plot. Yeah, it really is. There's really not much else that's really a problem with this movie. Yeah. Uh, something I thought was kind of cool, I was I was reading a little bit about it, and uh, uh, I, neither of us are really, like, into the Guardians comics. We don't know much about mm -hmm. them at all. But uh, the original Guardians of the Galaxy weren't these characters at all. Um, and what I didn't know is that, um, uh, I can't remember his name, was it Yondo? Or... Yeah, Michael Rooker. Yeah, yeah Michael yeah, Rooker. Was yeah. um, he was one of the original uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, his character. Mm -hmm. So, it's possible one of the other pretty weird <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy characters could pop up in the future. Yeah. Who knows, really? A lot more can come into play in the sequel. Yeah. Which it, is already confirmed to be coming out in 2017. Yes, so, which both of us are looking forward to because we both yeah. loved this movie. Yeah, the movie was just so out there. It really, it, it was really out there, really... It. But it still had that, like, familiar, like, it didn't feel too weird. I don't know, mm -hmm. kind of hard to explain. It feel, it felt, it's very accessible to yeah. audiences. And kind of pretty like much Star any, Wars, anyone you know? can enjoy Guardians of the yeah. Galaxy. Kind of how the original Star Wars just starts off in the middle of this conflict, Yeah. but it's easily accessible. You don't feel like you're missing anything. It doesn't feel too weird to where you don't get it or understand. Exactly. So it, it has the feel of like a regular Marvel movie, mm -hmm. just in a sci-fi world and with a bunch of weird creatures and crazy stuff <laughs> yeah it um it, and for uh for the for the trauma studio oh, fans there's yeah. a cameo by lloyd kaufman which i i did notice in the in the movie but like it was <laughs> it was really quick and i saw it and i only saw noticed him for like the last couple of frames he was still in the shot and i i just looked there and i was like Wait, 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 wait. Was that Lloyd Kaufman? And I, like, turned to him in the theater, and I was like, what? Yeah, that's because the uh, the director of this movie, James Gunn, originally worked for Troma. Yeah. So, he's Which, paying tribute to where he started. That's really cool. <laughs> that, was, that was cool just seeing him in there. And, and Nathan Fillion has a cameo voicing one of the inmates in the scene I still don't know. Yeah, I, not completely I wish it was something that I could have noticed more, because... I didn't know that he was going to be in the movie uh, originally. I knew, but I didn't find out what. So. And I'm a huge so. fan of Nathan Fillion, um, so it would have been cool if he had like no, a little movie. more recognizable yeah. cameo. But you know, oh, yeah. it's something to check out when it comes out on DVD. Yeah. I don't know exactly. I was looking it up after I saw the movie. I still can't tell exactly where he is in the yeah. movie. I'm like, wait, that scene or that scene? Wait, what? Uh, what? We'll find out. <laughs> I'll have to just wait and wait and see. And then there's a few nods thrown thrown in from the universe, and um, and mostly in like the collector's, uh, store place area where uh, where one of one one of the shots you see one of the aliens from the Avengers yeah. is in one of the like boxes or whatever you call it there, and then there's even that one part where they're talking about all the, all the Infinity gems because those all add up to the Infinity Gauntlets, which yeah. is a big part of Thanos, and they showed the. Uh, the Tesseract, the Cosmic Cube, you know, from Avengers. So that, that was cool. Yeah. That's what they're building towards for Avengers 3, so there's still time. But. Yeah, because yeah, Thanos isn't going to be a part of Age of Ultron. Yeah, because so. Age of Ultron is going to be about Ultron. Exactly. There you go. Um, so, so Thanos was in this movie. Yeah. Maybe he was in, like, two scenes, but it was still awesome. It was still really cool, and me being as big a fan of Josh Brolin mm -hmm. as I am, it was cool seeing him as the character. Yeah, yeah, he was really uh, though, cool. So uh, he, you said he did some motion capture for it, so mm -hmm. it is sort of him. Yeah, but it was really cool actually finally seeing him instead of just seeing him for like half a second after the Avengers. Yeah. And like, they're building him up. 
which is which gets me excited for future movies. Same for me. Um, and it definitely makes you wonder how big of a part do you think the Guardians will be in Avengers three? Because mm -hmm. they're bound to make some sort of appearance. Yeah. But will they be big, small? Yeah, probably be more prominent in uh, in Phase three. Yeah. That happens, especially after like Guardians two. I'm assuming they'll do something that'll tie into Avengers. Mm -hmm. Stuff to think about. Yeah. I, s I say this is one of the top Marvel movies. You said it's in your top three. It's definitely movies. in my top three Marvel movies. I'd probably um, say number four under my top three. I still like Avengers, Iron Man 1, and Captain America 2, like, the best. But Guardians is, like, right under there. It's still a great movie and one of the best Marvel <laughs> movies. One of the most original Marvel movies, too. Definitely. And just an all-around great movie. That's, that's an original movie. Yeah. We don't see many, many of it's... those these days. So it's definitely worth checking out, and a lot of people did it because it made like $94 million mm -hmm. over their opening weekend. Yeah, it did really so well. So that's good that people are seeing it. They weren't scared away by it, which is good. Because I, I know a lot of people were skeptical about it. I was. Yeah. Like, I think I put it on my most anticipated list as like an honorable mention. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued, maybe. So I, I definitely got a lot more intrigued as I read up more and more about yeah, it. Yeah, as more stuff got released for it. And yeah, I think that video was done, like, I think all he had was, like, one image was released for the movie at the time yeah. of the video. So I was like, I'm intrigued because it's Marvel, and I believe in them. They haven't done too much wrong lately. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they've missed the mark on a few things. Notably, yeah. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and what's been happening with Ant-Man. <laughs> The Ant-Man stuff being is what bothers me the most. Being their, their two biggest missteps, at least in my opinion. Yeah. But, but I still have confidence in especially now that they, they're, able, they're, they're, they're able to put Howard the Duck in there. They're exactly. just like, yeah, just put Howard the Duck in there. They're like, Marvel is probably so confident now after this movie. Definitely. <laughs> they're like, this movie that everybody thought was going to suck, that was out there that nobody knew about, and it's great. Yep. And Marvel's like, yeah, we can probably do anything right now. And they can. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. And uh, I think that's about all we've got yeah. to say about it. Cover the, cover the big points. Mm -hmm. So, uh, some cool stuff. Thank you guys very much for watching the video, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you later. Yeah.